wouldn't be great if you could just send the photos to your clients for them to select. With Adobe Lightroom Cloud, you actually can do it. Me and Joana, we use it all the time that we are shooting. After the photo shoot, I just make a rough selection by removing the bad ones. And I'm really sorry she wanted to show this picture to the internet, but here we go. I also make a bulk rough edit using Camera Raw. For example, these photos are way too bright. They should be a little bit darker. These edits will create an XMP files, but it's no problem because Lightroom Cloud accepts the raw with these files. Let's open Lightroom Cloud and create a new album. Select all the photos that I want to show to Joanna and just click and drag the photos into the gallery. And just wait until it's all synced. While it's doing that, I can create a link so Joanna can select the photos. That's the point. Make sure you are in the correct album and click Share and Invite. This window pops up and customize, you can adapt the look of this album. In settings, make sure you allow comments and likes, of course. The other options is up to you. In this case, I just turn it all off. Let's click Get Shareable Link and you can write down an email address to invite or, as I do, I just create a link accessible to anyone. Copy the link and you are ready to share. Here is the result in a web browser, but I'm pretty sure that Juana will make the selection on her phone. So let's see how that's like. First, I'm gonna get the album link opening in the Lightroom app, the same way as a Lightroom in the PC. Now I just need to send her the link. I usually, with Juana, I send her via WhatsApp. Now, what Joana needs to do after clicking the link is log in. If she doesn't have an account here, she has to create one for free. After that, she can select the photos that she like just by clicking in the little heart and comment if she wants to comment something in the bubble comment. Very simple. A few moments later. After she's done on my side of Lightroom app on the PC, because this option is not yet available on the Lightroom smartphone app, I have to click in the funnel, then in the hearts, and boom! Here are the photos that Joanna selected. By clicking in the bubble, I can see the comments. Just make sure that you have the photo activity tab open to actually read the comments. Now then, you could edit inside of a Lightroom Cloud, but I don't like it. So let's send the photos to my hard drive so I can use Lightroom Classic and you do you. Just use your software that you use to edit the photos. And how cool is that? Now, it could be better. Let's talk about that. I would love to see the likes filter in the Adobe Lightroom app. Dropping likes is cool, but it would be better if Joana could add some star ratings. I use it a lot and a lot of people use it a lot. So Adobe make that work. Also would be really, really cool if Joana could access to how many photos she has dropped the like. That would be great. So how cool was that? And if you want to see more tutorials, check the link over there.